savior of the day, booty shorts. Hey friends, what's up? It's me, Catherine, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name's Kat, and I really like musicals. I feel like that's kind of becoming a weird secondary intro. Also, we're gonna take over Broadway, and then the world. Throwback! No, but seriously, I love musicals, that's what I do, and I just finished another musical called Love Slaver's Lost. It's a contemporary musical adaption of the Shakespeare show by the same name. It's a ton of fun if you haven't checked it out. I would 10 out of 10 recommend the cast recording. It was probably the most fun I've ever had on stage. I also thought it would be fun to do an updated what's in my performance bag. Question of the day, what's in your performance bag? Let me know in the comments down below. What do you bring with you to shows? Okay, so something not in the bag, but I always Always need it. My water bottle. For those of you who have been around my channel for a while, I've cycled through a fair amount of water bottles. One of you guys put together an edit of all of the water bottles that have sadly passed on to the great recycling bin in the sky and it made me laugh really hard. This is my current water bottle. This is my third one of this like huge model. It's over 3000 milliliters and it's great because it ensures that I actually drink all my water because I tend to go through water pretty quickly and then I always forget to get refills or it's always inconvenient for me to get refills. So I just remedy that by, you know, carrying around essentially an aquarium tank of water with me everywhere. So, moving on to the bag. The bag itself is actually this super pretty sparkly light blue bag from Kate Spade. This is glitter, but it's not like the sheddy kind of glitter. Like it's within the fabric that it's, you know, kind of patent leathery feeling. Don't tell anyone, but I got this bag at an outlet mall for a really good discount. Honestly, this is just my aesthetic. I love it so much. So let's jump into the bag. First up, we've got this little thing of hand sanitizer. It's got this cute little case and you can connect it to like the outside of bags and stuff like that. But I don't do that because I always switch around my hand sanitizer depending on what bag I'm taking. It is in the scent I Do Not Care from Bath & Body Works, which as you can guess, it smells like a donut. I love smelling like a baked good, let's be real. Next up, also from Bath & Body Works, we've got one of their mini body sprays. This is in the scent Cashmere Glow, which I'm obsessed with. Honestly, it just kind of smells like a vague, pleasant, warm vanilla smell, which again, I love smelling like baked goods. I've got a baggie of bobby pins. This has helped me a ton in terms of not losing bobby pins. Ideally, I do like to do my stage makeup at home, like my full face and my hair, but depending on like if I'm running late or if I had something right before call time, then I might end up getting ready at the theater. It all depends. And then I'll bring like a little baggie of touch up makeup. I just keep it in this super cute little glossier packaging bag because it looks like bubble wrap, but it's not. What? I've got some setting powder, some extra blush in case I use some setting powder and I need some more color. For this show, I was using Flirt It Up by Sephora. These little eyelash tweezer applicator things, some extra eyelash glue, the Balm.com by Glossier, my absolute favorite moisturizing balm. And I've actually been switching over to the mint one recently. It doesn't have a color and it just smells like mint, which is amazing. And it's not like overwhelming. You just feel like fresh, which is nice if you're going to be up in a bunch of people's faces on stage and if you need to kiss them. The lip color I used for this show that I use in a lot of shows is actually by Buxom. It's their Whipped Formula. This is in the shade Devious Dolly. I have a hairbrush in case I need to do my hair. This one is by Goody Pro. Okay, that kind of sounds like we're in the crucible, but that's fine. I saw Goody Pro with the devil. Depending on which night you saw me, actually my hair changed. For the last few dress rehearsals and opening night, my hair was like super straight. And then for the rest of the shows, I curled my hair in this like retro 40s kind of do. I don't really know how to explain it. And I don't know if I got any photos of it, which would make me really sad because I really liked it. A whole bunch of alligator pins to help set that 40s do. A nail file. Oh, I've got a camera in here. I've actually got a couple cameras in here. First up, we've got the Instax Mini 8. I love this. It's just like your standard little credit card sized Instax Polaroid-esque photo. I'm a big fan. I love the look of them. As you guys can see, I have a big Polaroid wall next to my bed. I love waking up and seeing a wall of photos of people I love. I think it's like the best way to start the day. Also, I kind of love the uh, symbolism behind only getting one shot and, you know, being happy and enjoying and capturing that moment in the moment that it happens and kind of how that relates to theater. As opposed to like, I still love film and television and that's what my degree is in. But 
I love the beauty of a musical or a play that you kind of only have that moment to live in. And this is kind of like a, the, the photography example of that. And then I also have the Instax Wide 300. This uses the Instax Wide film, so it's a little bit bigger. It's the one that's underneath the little ones, if you guys can tell the difference, I'll show you. I love the size of this film so much. You can really see the detail. It's so nostalgic and sweet. And again, everything that I said about the other camera totally goes for this one too. I think I'm a little bit more of a fan of the size of this film. It's just so inconvenient because it's so heavy and it's so large in comparison, you know, it's half the size. Also, this camera has a nasty habit of just turning on and firing. So if you have this camera in your bag, you need to remove one of the batteries so that it can't turn on. And and then just slip in the battery when you're going to take a photo. Anywho, I have both those cameras. Oh, okay, this is really, really sweet. Some of you guys wrote me some really sweet notes and drew me some art and gave me some gifts. And one of you guys made me a Rapunzel themed scrunchie. What? It's pink and it's got this little lavender corset stitching in here. Honestly, I feel like a Disney princess Heather and that's really all I want in life. Here's a bunch more notes and gifts and art. I'm gonna put these with my other notes in my studio. I love reading over your notes and just kind of checking them out whenever I'm feeling sad or I just wanna feel connected to the Theater Thursday fam. Just know that this stuff really means a lot to me. Thank you guys. And finally, the real star of the show, my tiny booty shorts. They're by the brand Jillian and O'Malley. Okay, they're a size small. They're just some very tiny tan booty shorts. These are kind of sheer, but they'll still definitely cover your butt, literally. So there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at what's inside my performance bag. Again, let me know what you have in your performance bag in the comments down below. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the Theater Thursday fam. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!